Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Will everyone please take your seats? May I have your attention for a second before we get going? Can I please ask that you keep a lid on your personal photography during the ceremony so the official photographers can move up and down the aisle freely? They have been tasked to take lovely snaps of Jim and Tula, not of you, and certainly not of the back of your heads. And they will certainly do a better job. Further to this, the bridal party prefer to see your faces as they transcend down the aisle, not the backs of your mobile phones, and certainly not your iPads, heaven forbid. And with that, may I ask you to stand for the bride. Carlos Salama, welcome. That is about as much Greek as I could learn before the wedding, so please forgive me if I didn't pronounce it correctly. My name is Sam Wallace, and I'm really excited to oversee the ceremony today. Welcome to everyone and thank you to each and every one of you for being here on this most happy of days. We are gathered here on this memorable occasion for the wedding of James Stephen Peters and for Tula Christa Christakos. We would like to also thank guests who have travelled a long way to be here in sunny Melbourne today, including Tula's children, Alina and Nikos, and their eight grandchildren who are with us today. They would also like to thank Jim's sister, Nikki, for acting as an interpreter for Tula today. By your presence, you celebrate with them the love they have rediscovered in each other and you support them and their decision to commit themselves to a new, caring and loving relationship. Marriage is a bond to be entered into after considerable thought and reflection. By making this commitment today, Jim and Tula's relationship will become stronger, better and deeper. Today, Jim and Tula demonstrate their devotion to each other by dedicating their lives, sorry, themselves to a life together and they show their respect for each other. Today is a celebration of love, care and kindness shared between these two wonderful people. Before I go on, I must mention Tula, who looks as gorgeous as Aphrodite. Absolutely stunning, I'm sure you'll all agree. During the ceremony today, Nikita Constantine will interpret the ceremony for Fatula Christa Christakos. I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage. Before you are joined in marriage. In my presence. In my presence. And in the presence of these witnesses. And in the presence of these witnesses. I am to remind you. I am to remind you. Of the solemn and binding nature. Of the solemn and binding nature. Of the relationship. Of the relationship. Into which you are now about to enter into which you are now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia. Marriage according to law in Australia is a union of two people. Is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others. To the exclusion of all others. Voluntarily entered into for life. Voluntarily entered into for life. I've presided over a few weddings in my time, but never have I encountered a story quite like the story of Jim and Tula. What a remarkable story. In today's modern and global world, it seems like the days of marrying your high school sweetheart are truly past. Not for Jim and Tula. Growing up in Greece in the mid-1970s, Jim and Tula met at high school and fell madly in love. Unfortunately for Jim and Tula, Jim's family migrated to Australia and they lost contact and continued their lives without each other. However, the modern world has also thrown them a lifeline through the miracle of Facebook. Jim and Tula managed to navigate the millions of people on Facebook to find each other again and renew their courtship. What an amazing story. Today, Jim and Tula will declare their love for each other in front of those that they love. Because despite all our differences, love is something that we can all share. Deep abiding affection. The magical and compelling sh shared impulses that make us seek each other's company is among the greatest gifts of human experience. Jim and Tula are extremely grateful that so many of you, their family and friends, have travelled such great distance to arrive here on their special day. On behalf of the family, Jim's son, Nicholas, will now share a reading. Unknown R.M. Drake. Thank you, Nicholas. Now on to the important part. Jim and Tula, can I please ask you to hold hands? Jim, do you take Tula to be your wife? 
Will you love her, comfort her, honour her and respect her? I will. Do you promise to share your life with her and do you pledge that you will love and care for her with tenderness and affection through all the varying experiences of your life? I will. Good. And Tula, do you take Jim to be your husband? I do. Will you love him, comfort him, honour him and respect him? I will. Do you promise to share your life with him? And do you pledge that you will love him, care for him, with tenderness and affection through the varying experiences of your life? I will. Okay, Jim, repeat after me. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. James Stephen Peters. James Stephen Peters. Take thee. Take thee. Fatua Christa Christakos. Fatua Christa Christakos. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. That I. That I. That I. Fatula Christa Christakos. Fatula Christos Christakos. Fatula Christos Christakos. Take thee. Take thee. Take thee. James Stephen Peters. James Stephen Peters. James Stephen Peters. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Jim and Tor, bound by these vows you have promised each other, you continue your journey together. Your hands thus joined in it form an infinite circle, symbolising that which has no beginning and no end, as is the love you share. Jim and Tor would like to invite Jim's son, Nikos Christakos, to come forward with the rings, please. Jim, as you place this ring on Tula's finger, please repeat after me. I give this ring, I give this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. And my commitment to you. And Tula, as you place this ring on Jim's finger, please repeat after me. I give this ring, I give this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. And commitment to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim and Tula have declared before you all their family and friends and loved ones that they will live together in marriage. They have symbolised this with the joining of hands, sharing of vows and exchanging of rings. It is with great pleasure and absolute privilege of mine to declare Jim and Tula to be husband and wife. Jim, you may now kiss your lovely bride. <laughs> Jim and Tula invite their friends, John Harvey Jamison and Nikita Yolanda Constantine, to be witnesses for the signing of the marriage certificate. We ask you for your patience while we complete this most important of tasks. Okay. So you guys take a seat. Alright. Uh, translator, maybe. Oh, no, I don't think the translator needs to. So you s will be signing under mm -hmm. there. You can just put, yeah, that'll do. And you'll be signing there, Fatula. And then again. I have to make it the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is one for you guys. So you will sign there. You guys are done. So, uh, John and Nikita, you guys take a seat, please. <coughs> All right, Nikita, you can sign there. So one witness there, so you can okay. and then I will you guys are done and I've got to sit down. So
Thank you for your patience. To symbolise and celebrate the blending of two lives into one, I invite Jim and Tula to perform a wine ceremony. So if we head over to the table here. You guys are going to grab a carafe each. And you're going to pour it into that one glass. Yeah, yeah, you can pour the whole thing in. And then you can pour that back into your own individual glasses. Jim, you may now toast Tula with to our life, life together. Yeah, the other picture. Yep. <laughs> and then Tula, you can uh, toast to a long and happy life together. All right, you may now drink. This represents your two individual lives combined with the two wines into a single life. The drinking of the combined wine signifies the commitment you now make to your lives together as a family. May you remember that this day of commitment you have sealed with the drinking of a new wine joining your lives as one. Jim and Tula would like to remind you that the reception will take place at the park in Melbourne from 3pm. If you would like to hang around for photos after the ceremony, Jim and Tula would love you to be a part of their photos. Jim and Tula, no one but you can declare yourselves married. You have begun it here today in speaking your vows before your family and friends, and you will do it again in the days and years to come, standing by each other, sharing all that is sweet and bitter in life. Each tender act, each loving word will be the declaration of what was made here today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Jim and Tula Peters. Alright, that's it. 